Yo, what's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Kivy. Kivy Roberts, that's my name. I haven't really introduced myself formally since I had started this channel. Uh, I go by uh, King of the Road, which I got that name from TA Truck Stops, Road King. I just switched it around, King of the Road. You know, just some creative. It don't mean I got to clean this truck because I damn sure don't. It don't mean, you know, I think I'm the best driver now. It's just a name I just came up with. thought it was unique. And, you know, something everybody can relate to. Because when you're in that truck, you feel like you're the king of the road. That go for all drivers. So, uh, anyway, man, it's been a minute since I've been on back on my channel. And um, I just got back in from Hattiesburg. Well, first of all, uh, one of the reasons I haven't been putting any content out is... Well, I got a phone call. Uh, one reason I haven't been making more videos is uh, I've been on this plant account uh, hauling plants like flowers from the plant nursery to like uh, we do Walmart and uh, Lowe's. You know, it's seasonal work and uh, I thought I'd give it a try and it's not bad. So um, I part my spread. I part my spread and uh, I've been hauling their trailers. They load them up. I go pick it up and go make my deliveries. So that's what I've been up to. But my truck, the inside of my truck, outside too, look like shit. So uh, I'm gonna live my truth, man. I, I, I ain't gonna clean it up and, and show y'all the inside. I'm gonna show y'all the inside of my truck right now. Just coming off the road from Hattiesburg and. It's been a long, rough week. Busy week. I made pretty good money. But it's been a long week. So my truck, it, 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 needs, some, it needs some help, Lord Jesus. But I, I've i never shown the inside of my truck on my channel. So I'm going to show it right now as is. Like working. It's been working. Used a lot. So I'm going to pull my pickup around here. And uh, let's hop in and see what we got. All right, uh, we're about to go look at the inside of my truck, but before we go up here, uh, let's go take a look at my spread. I don't think I've really done a walk around or just kind of pointed out some ideas I might have for it. By all means, if you guys have ideas, think something might look good, man, hey, drop them in the comments, man. Drop them right down there in the comments. So, here's that old spread. Um, I bought this spread, first of all, it's a 2005. It's an 05. Um, I bought it from a guy in Jersey. I'm in Alabama. I saw it on Facebook Marketplace up there in Jersey for $18.5. And I bought it. I went up there and bought it. Because it was a damn good price. I've had to do a few things to the unit. Um, tune up. A couple of sensors were bad. Um, all this right here, I painted this this spray can it was blue this was blue this was blue uh, let's walk back here a couple of bad tires I changed the tires out all this down here if y'all can see that this frame down there was blue so I painted all that black but all these lights, these are already done. Um, I did have to add some uh, the mud flap piece down there. I added those. Uh, what did I do? I added some lights at the top. Some of those were bad. But, you know, a little odds and then I had to do too.
Like I said, it's not perfect. It's used, but it works. And how many spreads do you see on the road? It's not a lot of them. These are like, these are like dinosaurs, like unicorns, you know. I think I want to paint this part all the way down because it's got some damage. Let me walk up here. Right here. This was on here when I bought it. It's got a little blue. That's the color blue that was under on the frame down there. But I want to either straighten this part out or cut it out. And then I want to paint all this black. Just paint it black. I don't know. That's kind of, I don't know if it's chassis paint or what. But that's one reason why I bought this trailer because it matches my truck. I mean, shit. Black on black. Looks pretty good going down the road. But I want to paint this black and leave the top uh, metal up there. Clean the rope. And uh, I got a piece of the corner up here. I actually bought this piece. I've had about a month now. I just haven't had time to get it on. This piece up here, and I didn't even realize it didn't match the other side till like a couple days after I bought it. Like right here. See how this is white on the corner? Come over here. It's got the stainless on. So I bought another stainless corner piece that's in the shop up there but that's that oh you guys got saw the video where I painted my cover my unit cover had to order uh, another top piece had a big ass crack somewhere up in here anyway let's get back up here so we can see the inside of my Man, see the inside of my truck. Ah, uh, let's go. First of all, man, y'all don't talk about it too bad, man. Hey, I, I, I know it need to be clean. I know that. I know it. I plan on cleaning it up. Uh, hold on. Shit off. I, I know it needs to be cleaned up. I know this. I'm planning on cleaning it up. I might come up here like an hour early tomorrow uh, or next time I leave out so I can go through. But uh, inside of my 98 as is Freightliner Classic. Unclean. So I did the floor back when the COVID first hit. I had some time, so I tried it. It's actually the laminate, uh, the vinyl, like the, the laminate vinyl planks I bought from uh, Home Depot. It has some nasty ass carpet in here, man. So I, I got that out of there, and I thought I'd try some. So it it look, it worked, turned out okay. Hold on, let me bag my camera up. Okay. Here she is. As is. Steering wheel. I got the gauge covers. CB radio that I don't turn on unless it's an accident or some bad traffic somewhere. Let's see what's going on. Uh, dashboard, man, I got some pieces missing and shit. Damn. Damn, something just stung me in my back, man. I just got stung in my back. I sat down. Felt something sticking me in my back. Look, look at this shit, man. Fucking walls. Just 
thumb in my fucking back. Fuck. That's gonna fucking hurt too. Funk ass fucking walls. Anyway, man, that's gonna hurt in a little while. But, ah, oh, shit, I feel it already. <sighs> Cooler, uh, what I was saying? Oh, I got some pieces, if y'all notice, missing on my dash. Man, I don't know if you guys have been to Birmingham, Alabama, on I 65, or downtown Birmingham, or that 459, 465 loop. That shit would beat your truck up, man. I have the piece. Fucking latches broke. It was either Birmingham or Memphis. Y'all be ever been to Memphis. But fuck, that shit hurt. My AC vents are somewhere in here. I need another cover, fuse cover, but here we are. In the back, my filthy ass bed. Hold on. Y'all see that? I hadn't cleaned up anything, I hadn't straightened nothing up. I just come in from Hattiesburg. So, it won't look like this the next time y'all see it. Next time y'all see it, I'm going to have to straighten it up and get all this stuff out of here. A lot of this unnecessary stuff. Hope I ain't got no damn piss bottles laying around. I don't want that on camera. A toolbox. You own an operator? Hey, I think even you're just a driver, man. You got to have a toolbox. Some of that stuff, man, instead of being on the side of the road for... I was waiting on the roadside, man. You just fix it yourself. Might be something simple. You never know. Uh, Down here, uh, I did this also. I put three eight-inch mid-range speakers below my bed. They sound pretty damn good. Has a nice little stereo system in here. I put these up here. It's got some blue lights. Look pretty good at nighttime. Uh, let me see. I got my little. Oh, let me start up. Start up here. I got my little microwave, which I've used only a handful of times, but it works. Uh, flat screen TV. Let me get the sign out of the way. When I'm laying in my bed, I spin that sucker around like that. It does work. This is how I cut my uh, inverter on. Got a button right there. So I lay in the bed like so. Got my Roku smart TV. Get the internet off my phone and I'm good to go, man. Watch Netflix, uh, HBO Max. Really don't have a lot of time to watch, a lot of downtime to watch TV. Cause when I'm done driving, I'm in the bed. I'm pulling my curtains around. This is a very thorough in-depth look at this old freight line. Now under my bunk, I like my little swivel mount here. It's just mounted to this cabinet, very simple. Flat screen TV mount. Let's see if I can get this bed up. Ah. Okay, hold on, I'll see. 
All right. Uh, get this bed up. And under the bunk, we have tools, air holes, coolant, blah, blah, blah. This is my little sound system. I run in uh, two twelves, I'm sorry, two tens. I bought these from walmart.com. I think they're Rockville. They do all right. I built that sub box at home to fit right up under here. I put my LED lights in here. Uh, that's my inverter. 2000 watt inverter. This is my sub amp. Audio pipe 16, and over here is my amp for my uh, for my mid range. These are the eight so long. Let me see. The ones I cut the hole through the bottom of my bed. I can see that sounds on. I had more junk tools and whatnot stuff you need on the road. And that is my truck. So, I'm gonna just break down if I can. So, I feel like I'm on MTV. Whew. I feel like I'm on MTV Creed. All this been in my house. It is what it is, man. As is. You know what I'm saying? I didn't try to prep my truck, get it all nice and neat. Nope, I'm gonna show it to y'all as is. So next time y'all see it, she's gonna be clean. I'm gonna clean it up. Probably tomorrow morning I'll come up here. So man. Let's see what else do I need to talk about? A lot of you guys wanna uh add the shifter. I got a I think I got the six inch extension. Let me see. Yep. So if you're thinking about getting one, this is the six inch. It fits pretty good. A lot of guys get like the, the 12 or the nine, you know, kind of hell. Yeah, they get the one with the 15, come way up here. But eh, it's all right, the one I have. So that's it, y'all. I'm out, man. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Since uh, y'all say I don't make enough videos, Here's another video of my nasty ass truck. Only because the next video, I promise you, it's, it's gonna be you're gonna be able to get out the flow. So, uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Everybody who subscribed, man, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. More content. Uh, oh, shit. Damn, hold on. I just thought about it. I got my bumper. I ordered my 22 inch bumper and my chrome visor. I'm gonna have videos on all that. Where that little funky ass watch go? So, uh, 22 inch bumper, visor on the way. They're actually here already. Uh, exhaust. I'm about to run, uh, I think these are fives here. I'm finna change these out. I got seven inch uh, stacks coming with the West Coast curve. Seven and five, uh, 114s. So, a few more things, man. I'm gonna try to get some of my friends, man. They got nice trucks out uh, here. People I run into the truck stop, uh, back haul, warehouses start bringing y'all some other people trucks man well you know people have nice shit out there man just share with everybody else yeah so everybody some of the work because somebody somewhere might be wanting to do the same thing that you're doing so i'm out man until next time man appreciate y'all for rocking with me all right real quick before i get out of here guys uh 
I used to hate how people show you their music and amps and stuff, man, and they won't even give you a demo let you see what it sound like. Let you hear what it sound like. So uh, I'm going to cut it on for a second, man. Hope I won't get no copyright bullshit emails and shit. So. Like I said, I got three 80s mid range right here. I got five and four over here in the tweeter. Match one on this side. Two tens, uh, Rockville got from Walmart.com. So on my audio pipe, uh, I think 1600. All right, man, that's it. It's gonna be clean next time. I'm talking about my truck, man. I'm gonna be reading the comments. I'm gonna talk about my shit, man. But uh, appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all rocking out with me.